All right, welcome to my 2021 studio tour. Um, this is my studio, which is in the um, like living room space of my apartment. So like half of me and my fiance space in our living area is the studio. Um, so I'm gonna take you around. Um, kind of gonna start here and then kind of work up, down, up, down until we get to here. Um, so let's get into it. All right, so here we're starting off on this side of the room. This shelf up here is stuff that I don't use a whole lot, such as printmaking supplies, ornaments for painting, and then nails, glue, or nails, tools, and clothes pins. And then I have this bin here, which I did use for something, but I've moved on to something else. Um, it is from the Target Dollar Bin. I'm sure I'll use it for something someday. And then I have a label maker, and then a heat press by Cricut. Down here I have all my essential oils as well as some crystals and some quarters for product pictures. Packaging supplies here, things for earrings, jewelry, etc. And then thank you notes. My sunshine squish mellow and then um, some flowers that my fiance gave me. Coming down here I have this plastic organizer from Amazon which has stickers and earrings in it um, for packaging, making it easy. Uh, I would like to organize it a little better, but it's really nice, does the job. Um, this tray I thrifted, which has some a painted rose on it. Um, I just have some random stuff in here. Christmas cards, um, air fresheners, other cards, Lysol, and this little box with some pins in it, which I don't know why these aren't in there, but random tray. <laughs> And then this drawer, these drawers here are more packing supplies. So this top one, I have like my business cards, some ribbon, um, little thank you stickers, etc. This drawer here is tissue paper, some envelopes, and some scales. And then down at the bottom are just my poly mailers. Um, and then these drawers are a little bit of everything. My labels are wrong because I've recently moved things around. Um, and then of course this always gets in the way. I need to find a better place for it. But these are um, the cardstock that I make my earring backing cards out of. Uh, protective bags for prints. More chipboard and protective bags for prints. More <laughs> protective bags. And then this is like in progress stuff, print making things, etc. Let me get back in focus here. And then scrapbook paper, more scrapbook paper. So coming over here, this is like a lot of decor going on um, up here. This is where like my vintage art supply collection has slowly started and my little Squishmallow. Um, so I have some vintage pencils, watercolors, more watercolors, and then um, a squeegee for printmaking, and then my graduation picture, and then some ceramic stuff. Um, more flowers that my fiance gave me, and then this is my L wall. Um, a bunch of different L's that um, I've been gifted or thrifted, etc. As well as some funky different mirrors. I believe like all of them were either from the Target dollar bin or from Five Below. Um, and then this color wheel I had to make when I was an undergrad and I kept it because it's a handy dandy tool. Um, and then down here I have, uh, this is actually from an actual peacock at, um, somewhere I used to work that had a white peacock. Uh, and then some pussy willows and a little face. This here is where I would hang ornaments when I was making them, and I'm kind of like, I still have a few ornaments that were like in production that didn't quite finish in this basket. Um, my swing arm paper cutter that I just took under this little shelf. Um, random stuff that I use when packaging supplies, as well as a vintage paintbrush. Um, my dog, mason jar, you can never have too many of those. Um, this tray was actually my grandmother's, so... I keep a little L in here, and then a mason jar with paintbrushes, washi tape for when I'm packaging, and then these are little stress balls. Um, a stack of books. <laughs> I always have a stack of books always going uh, in my studio. 
This is the printer that I use for labels. Um, I'd like to upgrade to a thermal printer sometime soon, but again, this is like my work in progress bins here. I think I got these from the dollar store, but like when I'm working on a project, they just hang out in this bin. So some more ornaments I need to put away. Um, ornaments I need to put away. And then these trays here actually stack. So when I'm working on earrings, a lot of the time I'll spread them out here and just kind of stack them up away when I'm not reusing them. Um, but I've kind of changed my earring system recently, so it's a little bit different and I'll show you as we move forward. Um, but up above that, we have some more shelves. I have my gouache collection. Um, this little sign Jake got me, you need to find a better place for it. Um, oils and then my watercolors. These here are all paint chips. I'll take the drawer out to show you if it lets me. Um, so when I'm planning out a piece, I often like cut out little color swatches um, just to plan it all out. My oven mitts for, oops, dropped a piece of paper, <laughs> for my little um, oven there. And then I have just random like cardstock, label paper, notebooks, etc., etc. And this is a bin of scrap paper. Um, up here, personal stuff, so I'm not gonna show that. Um, and then I have a Monet book, a little letter board, some paintbrushes, and then this is again what I use to pack orders with. Um, some scotch tape, duct tape, and then um, box cutter. Okay, so I just showed you this shelf, and now I'm kind of like moving this way. Um, so this and this are actually two things that I found at an antique store that look like they go together. They might, but they were like two different times. Um, I need to find a knob for this drawer, um, but they hold Palmer clay stuff, and I'll show you. Um, so in this drawer, I have like uh, a little, uh, <laughs> little pots going on in there for some plant earrings. And then in here, I kind of have like the parts to that earring situation. <laughs> um, and it's super cute. And then on the top here, I have some stuff that's been listed on my Etsy store and like one of those party platter things. Um, and just because I'm talking about it, I'm going to hop over to this one. Um, this one stores a lot of my clay that I haven't used yet. And then in between those is my like dry medium slash markers. Um, I have Prismacolors, pastels, um, some gel pens in the back there, um, as well as some watercolor um, colored pencils back there. Um, this is a vintage thing that my dad had. Um, so I got some mason jars that fit in there. Um, and then I can just like pick this up and move it to where I wanna be drawing. Um, and then this is my little oven for Palmer clay. And then I have this little lamp here that um, is, the bulb is blue. Oh, wait, it turned on for a second. Oh my god, I thought the bulb was blown. Just kidding. Well, this is a... I'm gonna leave this on, actually. Um, it, like, changes colors. Um, and yeah, I thought it was blown. The magic of you all and my lovely YouTube friends. Um, but anyway, so now that I showed this, I'm gonna move up to these two shelves. Um, so this is what I was talking about earlier. This is, like, my new setup for my earrings. Um, it's just a little wider so it's easier to fit in my tools and there's no like holes in the basket so the smaller stuff doesn't fall through um, but this is also from the target dollar bin so i just have like my hole punchers um confetti that i put in packaging and then like my earring backings and stamps and all that fun stuff um coming back up here i have a painting that i did and i got these rainbow drawer organizers which are super cute uh i think i'm gonna use them to store like earrings that are on my etsy and um ready for a new home um but that's empty right now and then i got these two things in um a package from dick blick when i went to a teacher conference and then here are like all my jewelry findings. Um, just these little drawers come out and then when I need to use something in particular, I can just bring that like one drawer or the couple drawers with me. Um, up here I have some more like little bits and bobs for just keeping things that I can kind of like take and move it with me. These are like uh, half 
um, baked Palmer clay black chunks to make like granite, uh, and then some sandpaper. Um, a signed Taylor Swift tea CD, and then my fiance and I, our Christmas card a few years back, um, spray paint, paint, etc., paint brushes, Bob Ross energy drink, and then my very sad vinyl collection. And then up here, this is like the <laughs> gifted Sculpey that's garbage, uh, so Sculpey 3, so I don't really use it unless I have accessories. Um, or like Amazon Sculpey. Uh, and then here are like all my stamps for um, clay as well as silicone molds, etc. Um, and then these are my, right here, these are like my pressed flowers that I sometimes make jewelry with. Um, and then here are some little like Palmer clay beads, which I make like little hoop earrings with. So down here, um, this is my UV light for when I use resin. Um, this bowl is for, I fill it up with water and soap when I wash my, um, earrings. These are more earrings that are needing to be sorted out from shows. And then the, this is another one of this. So there's just more jewelry findings in here. And then this is a drawer of business cards, just because I don't know if there's any, like, personal information on those. I'm not going to show it. Um, but it's just business cards that I've collected at different shows and different things from packages that, um, I've ordered from small businesses. Um, and then I've skipped a lot of under here. Um, so I showed you this drawer, but I didn't show you any of this. So I'm just going to hop back down here for a sec. Um, this is my camera. And then this is the bin that I use when I was, excuse my dog. Um, <laughs> this is the bin that I use when I was going to college and carrying art supplies. Um, let's go check my dog because Girls, what are we doing? I'm trying to film a video. This is Polly, and this is Puka. They have a lot to say while I'm talking. Yeah, Pooks. Okay, back to the studio. So like I was saying, this was my bin that I brought art supplies back and forth from college. This I've recently organized, but it's still like not that great. Um, a lot of notebooks and just smaller canvases are in here. Nothing fun. Um, and then, close that up. Um, and then these are kind of like works in progress pile, which I'll show you. Um, and slash larger canvases that don't really fit in places. So again, this is a work in progress pile. Um, this, I need to find a place for these. I got these from the um, Target dollar bin. And they were in a store that I was at but I left the store. Um, but this here are just project projects that I've been working on, um, like ornaments, these little things that I've made a bunch of that say like, no house is a home without a pause or stuff like that. Um, so in progress bin just needs to be better organized. That's a big theme of cross today is that things need to be better organized. Um, this bin is of like uh, fake floral stuff or fake greenery for product pictures um, and then these two shelves have a lot of my fluid painting stuff which has kind of become a thing of the past for me I don't do a whole lot of it now um, but my floater all the different these this is the brand that I primarily use for fluid painting because it's thinner um, and then these little bins which I would store the paint in once I've mixed it um, I have some different shaped canvases here and then at the top here like the cups that I would mix stuff in and popsicle sticks and then some more acrylic paint and gouache and pastels as backup and then more just pastels and other supplies I don't use a whole lot so this shelf honestly like a lot of it can be purged eventually I, I kind of get attached I'm like I'm gonna use it as soon as I throw it away um, so this shelf isn't used a whole lot um, and then this is some clay stuff and some more um, canvases. This is the clay stuff I brought to college with me when I was taking ceramics. So since I'm over here, I'm going to show you this like bottom area and then I'll move up again and then we'll go to my desks. Um, so this here, the labels are incorrect on these drawers um, because I recently reorganized them. Um, this top one is a bunch of tape. 
I don't know why we're not in focus. There we go. Um, this is a bunch of tape. This is a bunch of scrap. That scraps that I want to make something with. Um, down here. Such random stuff. Um, some prints that I've made and more photo prints that I've made. Um, I think this is like what I want to turn into collages one day. Um, down here, product photo stuff, plates, papers. This is my um, Palmer clay earring drawer. So I have some gold and silver foil, Mod Podge, and then my Dremel. And then a mask that I use when I'm Dremeling to not inhale any clay dust. Um, because I sand with this little buffer, and then we have a little drill bit in there, which I poke the holes in my jewelry when I'm done. Um, down here, um, a heat gun, some buffers, sanders, etc. And then a whole bunch of like watercolor, tracing paper, etc. And then this was custom built for me. Um, it is just for me to store canvases and like sketch pads etc so that is all of that it's just random sketch pads and nothing interesting i promise um and then over there is like old college artwork stuff um so now i'm gonna hop up here so i'm sitting down but above my desk i have my pegboard or above all that rather i have my pegboard and some other n n odds and ends um this is something that i thrifted um, it's a little Lazy Susan, so I put in earrings that I'm working on here, but then what's really cool is the dishes come off. So if I'm working on a particular earring, I can just bring that little dish over to where I'm working. Um, this is my little container of uh, tools, and then these are just, again, some things that I use to kind of um, organize myself. So this bowl I made... Um, and I have just some random earrings in there. This is another party platter that I thrifted that just has some earring stuff in it. And then this is a product um, dish that I use. Um, these are my bowl of cutters that don't fit on this little cutter rack. So these are, this is my cutter collection. My color coordinated clay. Um, some rollers, these are all from TJ Maxx, just different rollers with different patterns. Um, and then these are just some more jewelry making supplies, so I have some pressed flowers, um, rollers, tweezers, tape, um, jewelry, pliers, resin, um, what's that called? Nail polish remover, and these mats that I use for resin, and then this is soap and tape measure. Random art supplies in these jars, cricket mats, my acrylic paints, pegboard stuff, scraper for my palette, oil paints. And then down here I have my paint chip jar. Um, I've started to make like little um, resin earrings using these little like paint chips that I scrape off of my palette um, just to reuse stuff, be a little bit more friendly paper towels that I use while oil painting, so I need to dispose of them properly. Um, my Cricut Explore Air 2, my Epsom Eco, Eco Tank, which I make my prints and my stickers off of, um, and then like random junk behind there that I need to sort through. Um, I'm a big fan, as you can tell, I love bowls and just little dishes, so this bowl just holds random stuff. Um, my iPad here, um, I'm not gonna show you it because it has some numbers and stuff on there because I get text on my iPad. Um, and then up here, this bin is actually empty because I just got rid of my bigger printer that had more ink. Um, and now my ink just does those things. Um, this bin is all like sketchbooks that I've been gifted that I haven't used yet. More acrylic paint. Oh, there's my palette. I was looking all over for this the other day. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> um, this is my sticker paper I use. Um, there you are, you can screenshot that. <laughs> uh, and then the photo paper I use, cardstock, and then just like random other stuff that was like one time printing needs. Um, 
So now moving on to my desks. I'm gonna move this out of the way. So I have this thing, which I'm using as like a leg for my desk. Um, it's actually like a cart on wheels that's meant for like painting. It has like a palette up here, but um, given my space, it just doesn't work, but it still is really cool. So I have some like random watercolor palettes, wires, <laughs> brushes. Um, over here, this is all, this is like clay, supplies, cutters, and then more watercolor palettes down there. And then over here is cardboard and then like some different mediums like gesso, um, gal kid, linseed oil, etc. Um, on top of my desk I have my Mac, my iMac, um, work laptop, my to-do list I covered up because just personal stuff. And then I have different notepads right here in this little letter holder. Um, this is actually for tea, but I use it to hold paper clips and stuff. Um, more pads, my brush cleaner, some stuff I got for Christmas, random calculator, lip gloss, hand lotion, put this back where it belongs, um, my paper towel dispenser, random dish, this Lazy Susan, which I have two antique things, which I don't really know what they're for. I think they're for hairpins, but I'm using them to hold my brushes. And then um, writing implements. Um, this spice rack holds um, cool colored acrylic, warm colored acrylic, neutrals, and then bigger ones. My Tombow, Crayola, and a woo, is it a, a hoo woo? A hoo woo, <laughs> a hoo woo pens over here, and then like chapstick, etc. Washi tape, and then some decor items. Up here, I have two shelves. Um, these are like recipe binders that I keep recipes in, and then this one was from college. Old sketchbooks, gloves, decor slash um, pens that I don't use a whole lot. Um, my washi tape collection. And then these are like different branded pens. So I have like Mild Liners, Archer and Olive, um, Micron, Bic, Glue Sticks, etc. And then this is my little glass jar of um, index cards because I use index cards a whole lot to write notes. And then these are just some books that inspire me. And then under here is my other leg. Um, that rug is more so for props and then under it is my scanner. Um, and then I have cardboard boxes for packaging orders. And then right here, this is like my desk that I, I had recently got a new job. So this is going to be like my work desk. Um, I'm going to have monitors and stuff on it. So this is like the last time we'll be this clean. But under here is like paperwork for work. Under here, more stuff for work. Um, and then... This is like my little lamp, similar to that black one. Um, I don't usually turn this one on, but it holds gum, tape, and some highlighters. Tissue box, a little Squishmallow, um, some hand lotion. Then these drawers all have stickers for like my uh, planner. Um, yeah, nothing too interesting. Um, and then this little thing, which I usually ho have my planner up in. Um, but my planner is ending this week, so I haven't got my new planner in, so I just have some random books that I got for Christmas in there. Um, and then in these two drawers, um, this one is like planner, stuff that I use for my planner. And then this one here is my sticky note drawer. So all things sticky note. Um, and I, I th so that is my studio tour for 2021. Um, thank you guys for watching. If I didn't mention anything that you want to see, just comment down below and I'll try to answer your question. Um, Polly says thanks for watching and we hope that you have a health, happy and healthy um, 2022 and get some rest and um, thanks for watching. Bye y'all.